on Twitter uh, questioning the location of the catheter. And when you inject contrast, you can see that it's actually below the diaphragm. And this is the vein draining uh, the left hemidiaphragm. Interestingly, it also demonstrates uh, the left pericardiophrenic vein. And uh, this is something that electrophysiology physicians are going to become more aware of um, in the future. And the pericardiophrenic vein um, is used to place a pacing lead is placed in the pericardiophrenic vein to pace the left hemidiaphragm for tra treatment of sleep, central sleep apnea using uh, the Remed system, which is recently approved by the FDA. And so here's what it looks like. Here's the left pericardiophrenic vein. And the idea is to get a lead to go down uh, the vein. Um, what I found is that if you have difficulty locating the connection of the pericardiophrenic vein to the subclavian, you can inject uh, the uh, the, diaph the, the vein draining the left hemidiaphragm and then follow it back up to see the location of the where the uh, pericardiophrenic vein joins the subclavian. So this is an actual implant. You can see we've cannulated the pericardiophrenic vein for delivery of the pacing lead using vein selector and a subselector. And here we have the subselector in the vein and a couple of wires down. We deliver the pacing lead uh, to pace the left hemidiaphragm. Pacing lead is now in the left pericardiophrenic vein. And then we have another sensing, we have another lead that senses the diaphragm that's placed by the azagus uh, on the right. And so in the end of the system, you have a sensing electrode by the azagus on the uh, right side, which watches to see if there's any diaphragmatic attempt at breathing. And then if there's not, then you have the pacing electrode, which stimulates the diaphragm, uh, the left hemidiaphragm. And it's not, it's not a twitch stimulation, it's a constant stimulation, which patients don't seem to mind.